I'm going to pull off that green cap, twist those ends. If you can notice, I have a little dip in the positive lead there on the uh, C5. And that's to accommodate the position of the uh, C7. When it sits, it'll rest down in that little groove there. Now, this is a um, this is an alternate capacitor for C7. Um, it's the exact same capacitor, except it's a 30 volt, 35 volt version. Uh, it's still a 1200. Or correction. It's a 35 volt, 12,000 microfarad. Same manufacturer, uh, identical uh, parameters. Um, so this is the substitute for C7. Now the 25 volt is um, a little bit uh, smaller in diameter and just a little bit shorter, probably uh, less than a quarter of an inch shorter. Uh, it'll fit in there slightly different, but there'll be plenty of room for it. You may have to take and make this uh, little dip a little more uh, exaggerated, a little further down to accommodate it. So I've got uh, R12 in position, not soldered yet. Um, I'm going to solder the first one and move on to the next one, next one, next one. Uh, once I get that in position, uh, then I'll go back and I'll attack the, uh, the joining the two capacitors on the positive side. And then I'll work on the negative side. Alright, once I determine where that dip's going to be for that positive uh, leg on the capacitor. It's going to set right down in there. I'm going to take and find the halfway point, maybe just a little bit less. I'm going to bend that over. And I'm going to attach that black positive wire onto this spot right here. I'm going to attach the black wire right here. Right, and to lay it right along in here. Solder it on. The capacitor will go right down in between there, right at the bottom for C7. So it'll look something like that.
Okay, so I'm going to solder the black wire that goes over to the positive lead, positive from the battery, onto that right there, that little loop we made. I've got that uh, wire pre tinned and saturated with solder, and then I got as much solder on that loop as I could. <laughs> 